Business level strategy is generally focused on attracting customers using low cost or high quality, what we call cost leadership or differentiation. But a business model can be an important part of carrying out the business level strategy. Ray Kroc was struggling with his fledgling franchise business called McDonald's. McDonald's made just 1.4 cents for every 15 cent burger sold. It just wasn't enough money to grow and make a profit. At the advice of employee Harry Sonnenberg, McDonald's was changed forever. McDonald's previous business model was a simple franchise. Franchisees were responsible for acquiring their own land and buildings, and they received training in standardized ingredients to make cheap hamburgers. McDonald's only received a portion of sales from its franchisees and did not have the size to achieve sufficient economies of scale to get prices per burger low enough to make a lot of profit. Harry Sonnenberg convinced Ray Kroc that financial success would be found in real estate. Kroc created Franchise Realty Corp to acquire restaurant locations, which were then subleased to franchisees for as much as a 40% markup. Franchisees were no longer responsible to find their own restaurant locations, and McDonald's had a steady revenue stream. This simple change to the business model allowed McDonald's to make money as long as each restaurant was in business because the rent was predictable and reliable. The right business model made all the difference to McDonald's, but first they had to learn how to structure the business model to succeed. There are many business models that could work for your business. We'll talk about five. A common business model that most people are familiar with is the franchise. A firm licenses its trademark and trains franchisees to follow its processes. McDonald's uses this business model, as do many other restaurants. They adapted this model to also lease real estate to franchisees. Next is the advertising model. A company receives revenue from advertisers in return for access to target customers. Google seems like a free service to you, but you are more like the product rather than the customer. Paying customers, the advertisers, pay big money to Google to get their ads in front of you. Facebook also uses the advertising model. You provide them with details about your life so they can sell ads to people who want access to someone just like you. Even influencers and social media entrepreneurs using services like TikTok, Instagram, and even YouTube are paid from ad revenue for their large audiences. Another business model is the freemium model. With the freemium model, a company provides a basic service for free, possibly with some ads, and then earns revenue and profit by selling a premium version. Dropbox provides two gigs of free storage with paid plans to access multiple terabytes of storage. Strava is an exercise tracking app used by professional and amateur runners, cyclists, and other athletes all over the world. They have access to free tracking through the basic version of the app, or they can upgrade to get more detail and insight into their exercise. Even Google Drive charges for storage beyond an initial free limit. They attract customers with the free service and then charge interested customers for the expanded service. We all love the subscription model. We pay a monthly, yearly, or other regular fee for access to products or services. $9.99 per month will gain you access to Netflix and its vast library of entertainment. Harry's Razors provides customers with regular shipments of replacement razor cartridges for a fee, and you get to decide how often it comes. Of course, you can also now find Harry's at Walmart and other retailers, but they built the business on the subscription model. Amazon Prime is another subscription service for shopping and streaming entertainment. You also get access to even more subscriptions, such as regular shipments of laundry detergent or toilet paper. And finally, the peer-to-peer -peer model. The peer-to-peer -peer model connects people providing a service to those who want it. Airbnb is paid for connecting travelers with people who rent out their homes. Uber and Lyft connect drivers with riders. A new startup called Errand is connecting busy people with drivers who can run errands such as Amazon package returns, grocery pickup, or taking a pet to the groomer. Peer-to-peer -peer companies are paid for facilitating transactions between people who otherwise could not easily find each other. Does your company have a specific business model? List at least three business model ideas that your company could incorporate or modify to create a more stable and profitable business. It's okay to be creative at this stage. Not all ideas will work, but they can help you formulate a great strategy for your company. Let me know what thoughts you have, and if you can actually try them out, how it works for your company. Thanks for joining. Have a wonderful day. Take care.